Welcome to my quiet Daisy life. This is our survivor. Her name is Daisy. In this series, we intend to live a quiet life among the killers. We seek to stay alive under the radar, hunting, gathering, building, all while having to constantly watch out for other survivors and threats. You are a huge part of this series. We will have topics of conversation each episode, and as each episode ends, I will read your comments. I hope to live a long and quiet Daisy life and get to know you all very well. Enjoy. What is good, everybody? Back with our girl Daisy in Daisy. This is her. Her name is Daisy. We are on an official public Xbox server, just seeing how many days we can survive. Other survivors are on this server. It's not a super populated server, but sometimes it gets medium. And uh, we're trying to survive PVE on a public server, trying to just live a quiet life among the killers. And it's been awesome. You guys have had great support for the series. Every episode I ask you a question, topic of conversation. Look at that. We stop and appreciate the uh, coolness of the game. And uh, we ask questions of topics of conversation. And then somewhere in the episode, sometimes at the end, sometimes throughout, we read your comments. Oh, that's what I was hearing. I don't know that I have much food. I better get this. Ooh. Ooh, he's a... And today's topic is who was your role model growing up? Was it someone um, in your life? I got mom a dad an uncle a grandparent was it someone larger than life like a ball player or something tell me about your role model as a kid i want to hear about that oh look at this is more food no sadly no all right i don't think we have much food we got that we can cook up some food yep so we'll see if we get another chicken or so and we are just pushing west. We had a home. It got raided. And uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going west right now. It's all right. I should be actually heading south. I want to hit the river. Kind of work my way to the west. We know at some point Daisy is going to do a huge update. Probably within a month. They're going to wipe the map. And they're probably going to wipe the survivors as well. Which won't count as a death. It'll be like a nuclear event, and she wakes up disoriented with nothing. You know, and we might literally make it nothing. Like when she started this series, it was a, an empty hip pack and um, I think shoes. Didn't even have anything else. Dropped everything, so we might do something like that. Uh, my role model growing up was... Oh, crap. Oh, I should have gone with the, um, the one shot. Uh, two shots is good. So let's pile them up. This is what I call um, apocalypse. What's the thing called? Instacart. Where they bring stuff to you. Technically, I call that when you're in a building shooting zombies through the window, and you're just attracting crazy amounts of zombies, and then you go out and you find like another photo. Where's this one? Oh shoot. Never noticed that writing on the wall there before, have you? Never noticed that. What did you bring me? A Fanta, I told you. Instacart. Instacart. <clears throat> yeah, my uh My role model growing up was for sure my dad. He was a good dude. Um, like I said in the past. Oh look at this. That's weird that that's there. That usually does, I guess, it doesn't always have to be, but it usually means that someone's been through here. Like mushroom spawn, fruit spawns, usually six minutes or so from when someone's been in that area. I guess it could be. Me. I haven't been on that long though, and it could just be random. I guess not a hundred percent sure how that all works. I do know that if you go by a fruit tree and you. You can't stay at the fruit tree, but if you kind of do a little lap around the area and come back five to six minutes later, there, there's usually fruit. It spawns. You know, but yeah, my dad, um, we didn't have a lot of money. Uh, you know, Before I was born, they lived without power, without running water. 
in like a half-built little bungalow uh, in New York. And uh, then before I was born, they're like, hey, you know what? We better better up our game a little bit. Ooh, a deagle. That is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, let's see what kind of condition. Damaged. Um, you know, let's see if we can hold on to that. We got the space. Let's eat these and drink these while we go. I haven't, ha haven't found a deagle in a long time. And, uh, yeah, he... Obviously, back in the day, watching um, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson battle it out. And I was like, I saw the way he watched them. I'm like, yeah, I think I want to play ball like them. like cause, Partly because it looked fun. But partly because, you know, my dad was into it. He was larger than life, man. Big guy. And uh, he was my first hoop. He would put his arms out in a circular fashion and his face was my backboard and I tell you I I couldn't get enough once he got home from work dad can we it was in it was cold so it was in New York they'd moved into like a duplex so we had half a house in a, a shared basement and um I couldn't get enough like yeah once we get home can we go in the basement you do dribble and drill taught me real young Dribble with my left, dribble with my right, taught me proper shooting form. His backboard, his face being my backboard explains a lot of why he looks the way he looks today. <laughs> and on the swing, dude, the axe is good money. Like after the wipe, I think I'm going to get food, water, axe, plate carrier. That's, and you know, we'll pick up whatever gun along the way. Um, but axe is priority. And then after a while, I kind of, I was getting bigger than that. And we'd be down there even as a youngster. You'd be like, hey, man, you got to work on your dribbling. You got to work on your shot. Kids in the city are working on their shot. They're working right now. You're going to be competing for the same team. You know, you, you, at some point, you're going to be playing against them, you know, that kind of thing. And I ate it up, man. I loved it. And then uh, built me my first hoop, he and my grandpa. That's locked. So we got signs of other players here, man. Somebody locked that door. Probably to log off would be my guess. Uh, they took a trash can. Couldn't like just go buy it, you know. Um, took a trash can. Got a piece of wood, like a beam from a, a construction site, like that was being discarded. And. Um, a piece of plywood it wasn't very wide. It was about as wide as the uh, the box on a backboard. You know, the white outlined box on a backboard, the square. And um, that was the backboard. So the backboard was small. And then when his dad, my father-in-law helped him, but then when his dad came to town, he brought his old rim that was on a barn in Illinois, like on the side of a barn that he grew up on shooting. And um, that was my rim. And uh, it was only like eight feet, three inches high. It wasn't high enough, but they poured cement into that trash can, put the pole in there, nailed the piece of plywood, and nailed that rim to it. And man, I tell you, like hours and hours. I was Larry Bird. I was Magic Johnson. I was Michael Jordan. And playing against my dad, playing against the neighborhood kids. Oh, man. Yeah, he just super supportive. I think I want to head through here. Always, um, they say kids spell love, T-I-M-E. He always took time. Yeah! Even to this day, like, even though I'm a full-grown adult, he's at any important events I have, or he's awesome. So who's your role model? Tell me about them. Take as long as you want. This will be a good one to read next episode. Some tears may be shed. Do I have a water bottle? Okay, I still got space. Let's see what I got. I did. My water bottle got ruined, remember? And I was on a quest for a water bottle. Yeah, let's dump it. Remembering all those who fell before me. Whee. 
All right, we found our water bottle. Let's drink this Fanta. And we are going vagabond until the wipe. After the wipe, we're gonna, you know, have to gear up from the ground up. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be fun. And then I am gonna settle, but when the wipe happens, I'm gonna start on a new server, a different server. Still a public server. Like I said, we got some little trolls in here who are um, following me around and um, monkeying around in my business. I ain't mad at you. I know what I got into. Uh, so yeah, one of my, Oh, shoot. See, dude, we got signs of other survivors everywhere. Okay, it is empty. Racks. There is a tent in DayZ that you do not own, and it is right here. So come and get it, pal. Come and get it. Go back here. Um, yeah, it's a little safer. I am pretty heavy. Uh, let's see. Also, you know, like more larger than life people. Larry Bird, Ma Michael Jordan. Um, in my teenage years, Tupac Shakur. Dude, I heard a Tupac Shakur AI song. It sounds exactly like him, man. I, if you didn't tell me, I would have never known. I'd been like, wait, are these like long lost footage? Is, is he secretly alive? Did he fake his death? Is he in Belize smoking trees? What's he doing? It sounds just like him, man. It's scary. I don't know how you feel about that, but I'm a renaissance man. I wish I knew how to hunt better and how to fish better and all that stuff, but, uh, not on the social media, not on Instagram, not on Facebook. Technically, I had a Facebook because for a job they made me have one, but I haven't touched it in years. Let's check this building out. I like the real world and the Daisy world. That's the exception. Daisy, this is cool. You guys, your um, what you would do if you had a, a day to yourself? Those were epic. I loved reading those. Look forward to reading those later. With everything going on, I'm not going to take my eyes off the screen and read. This is too busy of an area. We've seen signs of other survivors. Let's see, I was going this way. So I best stay focused in. But if you didn't, if you missed, a lot of people missed last episode. I tinkered with the um, thumbnail. I went high risk, high reward on the thumbnail and did not pay off. So you might have missed last episode. Um, the algorithm frowned upon me. Uh, and I know why. I know why. I went for it, risked it for the biscuit, and it didn't pay off. That's just how it goes. Oops. Can I still climb walls? I doubt it. Near. No. Alright, either... I might battle it out. And get another not a cola or something. How many are there? Four? Four. Do I have a suppressed weapon? I don't. I don't even have a suppressed weapon. Let's see if I can call them over one at a time. I think there's a fourth somewhere. Yeah, there's the fourth. Oh, shoot. Okay. We're not going to play around with zombies and wolves at the same time. That could be a disaster. Those guys sound close. Okay, it is gonna be on, like Donkey Kong. Okay, you know what? Let's um, let's sort this out right here. Okay, I hope I didn't drop a rifle. Okay, there's my rifle. Okay, 22 out of 30. All right, we got plenty of space. We're good. I don't know why I'm carrying around this 380. I don't have a pistol for that. I got more food in there. 
Lately, I've been in Livonia and I keep hearing the wolves and then they never show up. I think these guys are gonna show up though. I don't have anything quiet to pew pew them with. I think I am gonna use this gun. Because in a real fight with another player, probably gonna go KA. I'm just more comfortable with it. This is cool though, man. I should get more comfortable with this. It just is weird to me, the look. I'm gonna go with what you know. You know, this just looks straighter to me. And where are these wolves? Come at me, man. They sound loud and close. Okay, I think I hear him. Dang, they sound nasty. Hope I can get an angle on them. Okay. might work. What the heck, man? What? That's... Okay. Alright, well... Good thing that's not a player shooting back at me. Must be sighted for a different distance. Yeah. See, there you go. Instacart, man. Instacart. I have meat. If I can ever get out of here. I think he's right there. That is a lot of zombies, man. Okay, there. Once I can dispose of this last one, I can wait out the zombies. Maybe Instacart them. Glitching through that wall. Can I shoot him through the wall? I hit him. Don't stick your face through my concrete wall. I don't hear him barking anymore. He might be dead. I thought he was alive, but he might be dead. Well, let's go listen. And regroup. Okay, full auto. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, this one just, in my gut, I knew it. I'm like... Alright, let's get a full mag in case we have another player. And we'll just hope these guys dissipate a little bit. 30, so... Math is hard. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, they're already quieting down. If they wander off, that would be cool. I wouldn't mind instacarting them, though. It would be fun. And it doesn't look like, you know, we're going to be able to take all this with us. See, that running concerns me. I think if there's another player out here fighting with zombies, though. Um, I was thinking about cooking, but if we're going to cook, we might as well cook up that, uh, that was some of that wolf meat, too. That was interesting. I, I don't hear that wolf, so I think he's done. Let's read a few comments, get a little ahead, how about that? 
So we asked you, what would you do if like you were alone for the day? Bob says, wake up early, get some coffee, ribs on the smoker, watch some saw some Daisy videos. He's behind on perfect, but yeah, my my brother, play Daisy, go to the shooting range, eat my ribs for dinner, play more Daisy, go to bed, do that is solid day. Uh, Native Dad, I personally enjoy Daisy's way of living the Daisy life. Yes, I agree. I like it. There's a lot of PvP on the net. This is kind of different. Ian, my, my old pal from the lucky days. You really need a four dial combination lock. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh, he said people can get through the three dial in like 10 minutes. So I got to sort that out. Um, he said just based on the information I gave, it'd be easy to find my shelter in my base. Yeah, I agree. Uh, one more. Java says uh, if he had a day all to himself, nobody else. He said coffee, time with God. Second, coffee, newest Daisy Live video. Live in Livonia is for members only. So if you want more of this content, become a member. Um, keep those going as many as I can. Go to the range uh, for a while. All right, we're seeing a pattern here. Grab taco plate from a taco truck. Uh, fix one thing from the to-do list. You do a to-do list on your day to yourself. Good on you, man. Then stream with Dak. Yep, Dak is on a, was on the same server. You guys went over to Livonia. All right, that's a few. All right, well, that was there's a noise there. That's okay. Um, handcuff keys. All right, let's see what's going on out here. We don't need all of it, but a little bit might be nice. I think if I'm going to cook that chicken. Look at all these guys with their elbows up. That's how you know they've been aggroed lately. So if you see that when you come into a town, that means someone else is there. That should do it. I don't need a lot. I can't carry a lot. Um, let's let them dissipate a little bit and cook a little bit. All right. Sorry for the noise, y'all. If it persists, we'll put on a beat in the editing. And go silent but I don't think it'll persist too long okay we're gonna cook all this and just leave that last one so one round and I think I'm still a little wet so hopefully this will kill two birds with one stone now if you'll notice I've learned recently I can't lay down that it's blue light and I got made fun of for not knowing that I'm a little surprised you can't see the meat in there. Usually the game... Oh, that's cool. Like, the little smoke comes up. The game's pretty detailed. Oh, man. It's been an interesting one so far. Lisa says, Sir Charles Barkley. Oh, that was the quote. Yes, I said, um... That's terrible, Ernie. Who was it? Yeah, Lisa, you got it. I didn't think anyone would get it. That was pretty good. Um... Simply six foot two. My day would start with feeding my cats. I would probably find something to do. Uh, I like to thrift shop. Would probably hit a couple places. I'd take my car to get washed. Get home, record some music or play Xbox, order some pizza, and close the night out with reruns of The Office. Dude, I watch The Office every night. Who is your favorite character in The Office? That's what I want to know. Let me know. All right, who's your favorite character in the office? All right, we picked up some wolf meat. Um, let's eat a little bit of it. Enough to replace it with the, the longer lasting foods. I don't think I'm gonna take that, so we'll just do this, okay. Dang it, I keep messing that up. All right, let's get this. Uh, I think overall, this sound might sound crazy. I think my favorite character in the show might be Dwight. I mean, he just, he makes me laugh, man. That guy. He's a funny dude, right? I mean, it's such a good show. Yeah, I fall asleep to it most nights. The last night I watched... Um, Brawl in Cell 99 with Vince Vaughn. It was really stupid. 
but it, I really liked it. I may not get out of here easily. Especially if it's taking three hits per. Going back in. If I can get these guys through the door, that would be lovely. Okay, let's check my axe. Looks good. Warren, yeah, we're set. Can I reach this fella? No. If it's just one, I can take him out. See what Instacart brought me. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Oh, yeah, a pipe. It's not helpful. Well, geographically, we're not making much um, progress, but that's okay. We don't really have a destination. Yeah, so I will switch servers after the wipe. And I will leave you guys breadcrumbs like each episode, let you know. That guy's gonna come all the way from back there. Oh, this guy's the guy I heard right here. But those of you who've developed trust, you know, you've chatted with me on uh, Discord. I'll just straight up tell you on Discord if you ask me. I can't tell you in the comments. I think that's where I went wrong. I got kind of giddy. I put the I, people I don't know ask me, oh, what server are you on? And because I love the player interactions and. You know, like you guys to be having fun. I know I would have a blast if I was not on YouTube and I found a channel on YouTube just to play alongside. Like, to be on the same map would be fun. So I just put it in the chat, and then that's when, like, all my stuff started kind of getting tinkered with. So either the person I told or just some Lukey Lou who saw it cruising by, uh, you know, took advantage. That's okay. That's on me. Just keep eating. What can I put in here? Uh, I don't see anything that's four. We can put our water bottle in here for now. Yeah, but this is good. Um, I don't do, like, I don't let ads in the middle of the episode, just at the beginning. So that those of you who like to watch it and fall asleep that's why I do that this is you can just play this playlist and go to sleep if you want ah, sneakers I'm tempted how are my shoes ooh they're not looking good damaged they are assault boots do I have I do I can fix them let's fix them and let's put the knife in the assault boot like I'm supposed to okay now let's fix it. Yeah, because these are good boots. I think what I want to do, actually, after the wipe, is um, go to a city that's not super heavily trafficked and wall off one apartment in a random apartment building and make that my apartment I did that on 4293 a long time ago in Cherno overlooking the sea and it stood all the way until the wipe like nobody I think people found it but they just didn't see it worth going through maybe I don't know and honestly they would be right there wasn't anything great in there do I already have this can I combine it I, I do I already have it topped off don't need it. So I think, I mean, 4293 is a crazy busy server. You have to wait in a queue to get in it. So I'd like to maybe do that. Not one of these houses, like an apartment, you know, where people don't go in them because there's no loot. Just pick a random one. All it would be is one fence. And if I can, I'd build two fences to make it more secure. What do you think of that? And then 
have an apartment in the city instead of a cabin in the woods. Or get the apartment going and parlay that into a cabin in the woods outside of town. Have like a bug out. That might be cool. I think that would be cool. I think that's what I'm going to do. These are kind of different buildings. I think these might be the only place you see these buildings in the game. Check. I don't know what that is. Sauce? That says sauce right there. Someone's a big sauceum YouTube fan before the apocalypse. That's what I always say. Maybe this should be my house then. It's got my name on it. I wonder if you could put a wall here. This would get raided though. It's too... You'd have to put a wall here. Can tuna. We always take food. A uh, compass. I already got one. Let's see what shape it's in. Kind of crappy. New compass. I think this one might be crappy too. Looks a little better. I don't know. See, like, something in, like, one of those buildings and just pick a random one. Most people play on these um, next-gen consoles. And I say that because when you play it on the old one, the game takes, like, 45 seconds to render in and you see through walls. And so if someone logged off in that area and then they log back on, they see through the walls. But the walls they don't see through are the walls that you build. So you you would see, like just a base build wall and hanging in the air but not many people have those anymore so you might be able to remain hidden it would be easier to build Ooh, it's in good shape let's swap it out Yep, takes up the same amount of space. I have been fun shooting these lately. It's a nice little explosion. Maybe we do it right at the end of the episode, after I read your comments, and before I log off. Go out with a bang. Also, if it's badly damaged and you're just messing around with like a fresh spawn or a character you don't care about, if you punch someone with it a few times while it's badly damaged, it will explode. And you'll both go uncon. It's funny, I did it one time. And then I woke up. Okay, so this is not normal. I'm gonna skip this house. And then I woke up and I had no clothes or shoes. The guy woke up before me and he took everything off of me and threw it in the in the sea. And then we started fighting, like when I saw him. We were fist fighting and it was pathetic. We were both like limping. And then we heard a gunshot not far away. And I went on the mic and I said, Hey, you want to team up and be friends and go fight the guy with the gun? And he nodded yes. So we went from like this epic fight where I blew him up with a gas canister and he threw my clothes in the sea. And then I said, Hey, but I don't have shoes. Do you have anything for shoes? And he ran out into the water and got my shoes back. Because I didn't know where he put them because I was uncon. And then we went and we, we beat the guy up with the gun and we took his gun. Um, and what happened? I don't remember what happened after that, but it was hilarious. See, like, just like that, like that one right there could be my apartment. Boom, just some random one. I'm not going to do it now, though. It'll be, it'll be one of the quests after the wipe. And maybe there won't be a character wipe. That would be amazing. I'm pretty sure there is. Like I said, though, that's a part of the apocalypse. Is Once a year or so, they gas everybody, they nuke the whole map, and everybody wakes up disoriented. Doesn't count as a death. 
I had a feeling she's got a not a cola. <coughs> Maybe it's the red hat. Getting too heavy with the rain. No, not a cola. Oh, my gut was wrong for once. Here, chicken, but we don't need it. Let's grab more food to eat. Seven spots there, two spots up there, but I'll dump that twelve when I shoot it. Go out with a bang, like I said. It'll be fun. Let's see. Lisa says, always quality entertainment. Racks. That wasn't my base up there with the generator. Okay. That's from last episode. Thanks for answering, Racks. Because you did build that base up there. I was wondering... I mean, you didn't put the generator, but are any of those poles still yours, or was that did that get wiped since then? That was a while back. That might have been wiped. I think I'm kind of done with these two stories for now. Ooh. Nice. Mad Monk. Mad Monk. Oh, that's the one that hurt me. Just said, I don't see Granny getting aggroed. Ah, oh, I can't even use my heavy pack. I kind of like to move fast in case someone's aiming a gun at me. I know some of you guys are like, you've got to slow down if you're going to do these. I'm not worried about her attacking me. She's not going to kill me. Three or four of them, maybe, but not her. What I am worried about is someone behind me who's trying to get the drop on me. So I don't want to stop moving. And I feel like this, tell me what you think. Like, I don't know the button. This is a much easier, rounded, more compact, easily hit target than, ah, than this. This is more like a, a pencil. This is more like a donut. Like, just shoot me, please. Shoot me. Someone, please shoot me. That's what that says. When I see someone like this, it's so easy to aim down sight and plunk them. That's my opinion. So I don't do that very often. It even took me a minute to figure out what button to hit. It's like it's just one of these apartments in a city that's not very well trafficked. What are your thoughts? I think that's a cool, cool deal. That's so satisfying. Well, let's check this one. I have an idea that'll be fun for the end. Ooh, that is a nice find right there. Keep these uh, sneakers and uh, my plate carrier in good shape. Okay, let's see, we got a couple zombies there. So if I put the gas can out there, it'd be fun to like try to lure them to it and then like shoot it and just watch them like what happens. That might not be the easiest thing to do. Like how am I going to get them to come here? Yeah, that might not be the easiest thing to do. That door doesn't close. Well, I'm gonna drop this... here. 
for better or for worse. Dang it. Get out of here. Alright, read a few of your comments and we'll see if any of them end up near that blue thing. Hopefully they wander backwards to the blue. So we'll check it in a minute. I don't want to expose myself to a gunshot. It would be nice to be able to see. Oh, he's right there. I think we got to go for it now. Ah, he's going the wrong way. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on him if he works his way down. Well, we'll keep a, an eye on him. Let's see, so it wasn't Rax's base. Um, Neon Gaming says 3% is also a series, a good series. Let's Go Daisy says Native Dad. From a distance says Native Dad. Less. Well, my friend, considering I'm at home all day until my daughter gets home from school, I will just do the normal stuff. Play Xbox, eat, could go out and try to make some real friends. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're a part of this channel. You and I go way back. You know, being there for the kid, that's top, top notch. And um, soak that in every minute of it. Native Dad, this is my first time witnessing a gas strike. Yeah, they're there all the time, but you don't always see them fall. He says, a free day, wake up, coffee, shower, small breakfast. Hop on one of the bikes, ride all day with stops for lunch and dinner, return home and watch saw some videos or scum videos. Dude, if scum comes to console, I'm all over it. That sounds like a great day because I'm a runner. You know, like New Year's Day, 50 mile run. It took me 11 hours, 55 minutes, and I could have done a little faster. I went conservative because it's my first time doing something that big. But I can identify with that. That sounds like a great day. Lisa, can't wait to see if you're really a bad guy. So that's referring to bad guy Bert. I might hit a pause on this series and roll out a week of Bad Guy Burt, but I know you guys love it, so let me know what you think of that. I have Bad Guy Burt ready to roll. They're short episodes of like 15 minutes. It's all player interactions. Um, this game is very good, says Tommy. Um, Texca Dream m of a lot of things. Cool name. Sorry to hear you're getting messed with. Man, I could really wish I could join you. Sadly, I'm on PC. Thanks for another video. You're welcome. Doja Man. Can I sleep in till 8 a.m.? You can sleep in as long as you want. Doja Man, it's your day. Um, Rooster says, people still play DayZ. I thought this game was dead like five years ago. So good stuff. Uh, oh, he's wandering. Is he getting close enough? Where's our, where's our thing? All right, what if I throw something over there? What can I throw? I could throw the Deagle. It's probably kind of heavy, and I don't have anything for it. If I throw the Deagle by it, Will they walk over there? Okay. Attempt one is a fail. Let's see if we can get it through the hole there. Okay, I just I don't think it's gonna let me um do that. I might have to open the door and throw it. That was a good throw. I don't think it got his attention though. Let's see if there's something else I can throw and like split the difference. Did I have cat food? Oh, I can throw this. I don't even have this gun. Let's just get him like halfway between it. Okay, that worked. Walk over there. He's not checking it out. I really want to do this. But he's not cooperating. Look at him. He's going the wrong direction. Alright, well, we're going to have to just blow it up and log off. Actually, I don't know if I have another... Um, God dang it. Another round for this, do I? Do I have to open a box? I don't think I think I made a mistake and don't have another round for that. I think I left it and it got stolen. Uh, guns not working for me. Okay, keep going. He's not going. Come on, come on, go. Ah, oh, he's going the wrong way. All right, we're gonna blow it up. Hopefully. dumbest thing I've done in this series but it's in my brain so I'm going to do it oh he's kind of close to it now if I could get it
Backfiring. All right, every now and then you just gotta have fun. Maybe this, maybe this gun aiming down sight. Cause I'm sure the issue before was like a distance zeroing issue. Oh, get the chicken. Oh, get the chicken. Dang it. This is my chance. The most epic way to ever kill a chicken would be right here. Dang it, it's gotta be dead on that thing. Maybe it's not, it's gotta be me, right? Okay. Okay. That was on it. One shot. Let's see if anyone gathers around it. Are you that would have been cool to get the chicken right there. I don't see anyone around it. All right, I feel like I've committed. I need this round in case I need to kill a big animal. Let's see if we can dial it in. I feel like that was close. to give up on my dream okay at least it hit the road so I'm not hitting the window so watch this okay give me more stamina oh they're they're walking by it hey <laughs> Oh, how cool is that? Okay. Okay, that's not actually a waste, that last one. Because I don't know how this gun operates, and now I do. So, it just needs a little zeroing distance. When it was up close, that was no good. I do feel like in the apocalypse, you would have moments of madness where you just do something dumb because you're so bored. And that was that moment. We're gonna watch The Office. We're gonna watch the basketball episode. The TV doesn't work, but in her mind, she's watching it because she memorized it before the apocalypse began. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're gonna keep gaming with Daisy and Daisy straight through the apocalypse.